I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, the city of Las Vegas is planning to bring back all of its remote workers on March 15th. That will mark one year since the beginning of the shutdowns. Nearly half of the city's employees have been vaccinated. Several others have scheduled appointments. The city manager says they also plan to help workers who have school-aged children doing distance learning. And thanking the heroes on the front lines, police officers and firefighters in Henderson teaming up with community partners to thank health care workers during shift change. You're looking at pictures taken outside Henderson Hospital tonight. And many of these heroes are working long hours fighting the virus, and we thank them for what they do. And CCSD leaders have released their detailed plan on bringing some students back to class on a hybrid learning basis. Pre-K through third grade students will be able to return for two days of in-person learning each week. This begins March 1st. The other days will be spent distance learning. The entire plan is posted on the district's website, and leaders have also launched a COVID-19 positive cases dashboard. This shows where cases have popped up and who has been infected as well. Danny. Breezy and cooler for your Thursday after a really windy Wednesday. Our gust speeds start to back off a little bit, but it's just a sustained wind 10 to 20 with gusts up to 25 still expected for Thursday as high temperatures fall from the low 70s to just the upper 50s. A 12 or 13 degree temperature drop expected for Thursday's high, but it really just takes us back to the seasonal average. And overall, Thursday still looking really pleasant. Forecast high of 59 with plenty of sun. By Friday, that wind speed tapers off and our temperatures warm up. We'll climb to the mid 60s with sunshine into the weekend, and that's where we'll hold for the majority of next week. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.